Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast at 7.35 p.m. Uh, we'll be talking about the changes coming for the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states with rain in the forecast and even some snow for the interior elevated areas. Uh, heavy rains and thunderstorms are going on in the middle of the country. We've got a winter storm or sort of a winter storm in the uh, in the northwest. So we'll cover it all and get into the long range tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. So as we uh, take a look at what's going on across the country, uh, just going to start with the watches and warnings. We still have some fire risk here in the northeast uh, from uh, New England, central and southern New England, down to parts of New Jersey. Uh, obviously, we haven't had any rain and not going to get any rain through Wednesday. Uh, we'll start to moisten up the atmosphere a bit on Wednesday. So it's really the rest of today, tonight, and Tuesday uh, that that could be an issue. And many areas have had hundreds of wildfires break out in the last several weeks. And we certainly need the rain to make that all start to go away. Wind issues from Texas uh, northeastward into Kansas and western Missouri. Wind advisories there, also in central Illinois. And that's due to a storm in the central plains that's heading northward. And that's going to be the catalyst for the big changes. Out in the west, winter storm mornings. Uh, there were more up earlier, uh, but we've got winter storm watches and winter storm mornings up for parts of interior Washington state and then down through uh, the Cascades in Oregon and in uh, the uh, northernmost counties of California. And freezes uh, being forecast uh, up and down the interior of, uh, of California, along with a few winter storm watches. Uh, on the edge of that. So it's kind of busy in the western part of the U.S. as uh, weather systems offshore continue to push eastward. In fact, there's a, a monster storm that's going to develop uh, in the Pacific uh, and uh, head for the northwest coast. Uh, it'll weaken by the time it gets there, but it's going to be the catalyst of, send of sending disturbances in. And it's really the bottom line in the pattern going forward. We actually have weather going on. Uh, and the gateway is now open for those weather systems to move along. Uh, the old ocean storm in, uh, affecting Atlantic Canada is finally starting to move out to the east. The ridge off the southeast coast is gone. Sarah is mostly gone. Um, you can see some a leftover swirl here that's moved into the southwest gulf and is not expected to develop. And we've got some rain and thunderstorms uh, up and down the Mississippi River Valley back into the southern and central plains and moisture that continues to stream into the Pacific Northwest. Here's a look at the West Coast satellite view, and uh, you'll notice way offshore, uh, the clouds that are streaming eastward, that is going to actually develop into a major storm uh, in the next couple of days as it uh, moves pretty quickly to the east and heads towards the coast of Washington and Oregon. Radar right now, obviously quiet in the east, except for a little bit of precip in uh, getting out of eastern Maine and over New Brunswick. But you'll see, see the giant comma shape here uh, in Kansas, uh, and this is a uh, developing low that's heading straight northward. Rains have been moving up northward uh, up the Mississippi River Valley. On the southern tail from East Kansas down to East Texas, we have some showers, and later today we'll probably have some developing uh, thunderstorms. Out in the west, we've got some rain and snow in Montana, uh, the same for the uh, coast of Washington and Oregon and Northern California as moisture continues to stream on in. Storm Prediction Center for today, marginal to slight risk uh, in that area from Louisiana up into southwest Iowa and southeast Nebraska. And there's tornado risk here too, 2 to 5%, 5% uh, down in Louisiana and east Texas. And over the coming days, we're going to see uh, marginal risk shift eastward, Mississippi to southeast Louisiana and a good chunk of Alabama. Uh, from, uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, and as we head on to Wednesday into Thursday, uh, we uh, have marginal risk in parts of the Carolinas, uh, and a general thunderstorm risk actually pushes up for the first time in I don't know how long uh, to uh, southeastern New York and Long Island, and that is going to be with our weather system that is coming. And as far as rainfall is concerned, WPC has anywhere from an inch uh, to some inch and a half amounts in upstate New York, also in parts of southwest New York and down in the central Appalachians in West Virginia. Some of that is going to be uh, in the form of uh, heavy, wet snow, mainly in elevated areas, but in, 
for the most part, this is going to be the first round of accumulating snows for the Northeast uh, down into the Central Appalachians, uh, the first one of the season. Uh, some heavy rains along the Gulf Coast, several inches or more, and you can see the big precip amounts. That yellowish area there represents 10 to 15 inches of rain for parts of Northern California and Southwest Oregon over the next seven days. I'm just going to quickly show you here in terms of what's going on in the upper air. And I'm, I'll, I'll starting back from Friday, uh, where again, this Atlantic Canada storm and the ocean storm uh, to the south that developed and, and basically just reinforced it has uh, kept things dry here in the east. We've got a little bit of ridging, uh, but uh, all this energy coming into the west finally translates eastward. We also have building high pressures across northern Canada back to Greenland. And that creates a very blocky scenario, and that forces a big trough and upper low to develop here uh, in the eastern half of the United States for uh, Wednesday night, uh, lasting right into Saturday. So even though we'll probably get a lead shot of rain Wednesday night into the first part of Thursday, we are going to see lingering showery rains probably into Saturday and in the interior areas of the Northeast, uh, the Catskills, the Adirondacks parts of the Poconos, uh, down into the uh, Appalachians in uh, Western Virginia and uh, East, uh, and, and West Virginia. Uh, we, th those areas are going to see heavy, wet snow. Uh, Pacific energy just continues to pile in. The bottom line is we're, have, we're finally out of that regime that we were in, and systems are going to be moving along. And over time, uh, with Canada getting involved in the jet stream pattern, we're seeing more air masses that are going to be coming down from Canada, and that means a gradual turn to colder air as we move our way uh, into the longer range. So uh, kind of going into these last days of the November and the beginning of December, perhaps a whole lot differently than we have done uh, in the past several years. So on whether that means anything in the long range or not, the only time will tell on that respect. Now, here's the... Um, situation for uh, Wednesday into Thursday in the east. You can see the low coming out of Kansas and running up through uh, Minnesota. That dies out. So you kind of look at this rain moving eastward and saying, oh, well, it's all falling apart. Well, all that energy is going to now translate southeastward. A new low forms there in Michigan. And that arm that comes around, there'll be an area of rain and maybe even uh, a chance for a thunderstorm or two. And this would be Overnight, Wednesday night, into the first part of Thursday, probably a six to at most eight hour event. We get the bulk of that precip anywhere from, let's just say, three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch. Keep your fingers crossed. And of course, then we have to deal with the upper low that's going to take forever to get out of the way. So look for some showery rains uh, possible uh, Thursday night during the day on Friday. And even on Saturday, there's probably going to be a little bit of lingering precip. And uh, also some lake effect that might start to uh, develop over the weekend. So big change is coming. And in the longer term, we are going to finally get into a place where weather systems are going to be moving along on a regular basis. And that's important considering that we have about, uh, many places have at least an 8 to 10 inch rainfall deficit. Some places that deficit is running at around 12 or 13 inches. It's going to take us a long time to make that up. but. At least we can get a start now as systems start to move along on a regular basis. So don't forget tonight, folks, the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast, 7.35 p.m. And uh, we'll see you then.